The Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has accused the opposition of fueling a class division over their calls to scrap tax breaks for independent schools. This is what he told the BBC's Peter Henley last night. I think Labour's approach to that is to, to clamp down on it, right? They don't understand the aspiration that people have to try and provide a better life for their kids and they want to punish them for that as some part of some class war. I don't think that's right. So Sunak's comments were prompted by Labour's plan to charge private schools VAT, something that they say will remove unfair tax breaks. Yasmin, is this fair or is this actually Labour just waging a class war as Rishi well, Sunak Well, you know, I, let me confess to something straight away. I feel I'm a terrible hypocrite um, because I sent my children for exactly the reasons that Rishi Sunak's parents did, because often immigrants feel that private schools give their children the best chances, and it's my biggest regret that I did that. I have to say this because I am a hypocrite, and I'm completely on the side of Labour on this one, because it. look at the way he talked about education there, almost, in, not almost, implying that state education was not going to give our children the best education they need for the future. How is that okay? I'm amazed in this class-ridden society that there hasn't been more of a class war. It is a class war, it needs to be waged, and I am joining it from the other side. Esther, what do you say to that? Um, I, I disagree, um, but I will say that I think this particular government has a huge problem with poor communication. And I think the way that he phrased it was not particularly helpful. There is an issue with, well, not, the issue here is about aspiration. So the idea that people just send their, their kids to, to you know, p private school because they want them to feel better than other people in society, I don't think that's true. You know, the, the issue that Labour has, it doesn't actually speak to people's aspirations, particularly the aspirations of many working class ethnic minorities. So I know many um, working class people that actually aspire to send their kids to private school because they actually want to, their kids to have smaller class sizes for reasons because they think their children need extra, extra attention. Some, some of their kids have special needs. It's not just about the, you know, the top 7% of the country that are able to afford it. There are real reasons behind it. And also there's a the question of, actually, if you tax private schools, can the state school system absorb the influx of parents that can't afford to send their kids to private schools coming into the, the, the state school se um, sector? That's a question that you need to ask as well. And also, at the end of the day, why is it anyone's business why someone wants to send their kids to school? I think there's an issue of parental rights here that no one wants to talk about because somehow we think that the only advantage we can give children in society is by sending them to private school. Actually, if you're a young person, the biggest advantage you have is growing up in a two-parent household and geographically where you grew up. So actually, we might as well tax people that had two parents in the house yeah, and grew up in a nice suburb in North London because that's actually the biggest advantage you can have in life as opposed to being sent to private school. Okay, there was a no, lot there. I want, you, I want to come back on two things here. State education is not an inferior education. I didn't say it was. No, no. So, state education, and if more middle class oh, families oh, oh. sent their children to those schools, standards go up. We know that. Oh, and hold second, on, Yasmin. Yeah. Teachers at private schools potentially get paid more than teachers at state schools. The classes are smaller in private schools. They get more attention. And they get more I attention, you, they get more money, they get you, more funding. My daughter, so, education probably is no, it is easier not. to get. And also, I speak from also a, private, no, schools, I... private schools set a standard. I, most people don't, fit, or don't remember this, but one of the reasons why people choose actually to pay for education is because if you have the government that's providing a service, what are you comparing that service to? How do you know whether your education is good or not? Because you have you league have, tables. Because you it's have not league about league tables. Because then you have to compare league tables to the Let likes of Finland you. and Sweden. I'm sorry, I have to There's take... a standard there that's okay. been set. Jasmine. The education my daughter received at, at a private school was abominable. Then you shouldn't have paid no, for it. No, exactly. But I'm saying to you, these assumptions that are being made, that private schools are wonderful. For goodness sake, look at the Eton boys we've had who've governed us. Look at the, their values. Look at the way they behaved. It is not, it is completely fake. Okay, you're statement. talking about education in a more all-rounded manner have, rather than me, grades. Yeah, comparing it to Eton boys, they haven't done too badly for themselves. The vast majority but go to for Oxford. Themselves. They, they earn a but, lot of money. They're able to Yasmin, give their children a head start in life. To, what, what Yasmin, I think, is trying to say is that it's not just in terms of grades, it's in terms of a more holistic what, uh, approach. What approach to other... But this, this is the thing, and I, I, that's an ideological argument, and I'm saying the stronger argument... ideological argument? 
an ideolo ideological no. argument because I, I know people that went to state school but grew up in a very affluent part of North London. And guess what? They're more classes than people that went to, to private Where's school. Where's your evidence for that? Because I grew up in no, it. No, I, no. I, I, I literally graduated like a few and years ago. And in what sense are they uh, more listen, class conscious? Listen, every, every statistic shows that if you're talking about what gives wait, people the biggest head start in life, it's whether you grew up in a two-parent household, the values that you grew up with, and the neighborhood, the, 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 the physical environment that you grew up in, okay. not the, just the school you so went to. So then, Esther, I'm going to ask you both the same question. Why do people send their children to private school? Their if parents, that's the case, that some some parents have some parents save up their their inheritance that they get from their parents to send their kids to private school. We're not asking how they pay for it. I'm asking why they send because, them. Because because their children might have special needs and they need specific that's attention it. that they might not get in okay. over overcrowded state schools. Yeah. Some they might be closer to to where they live. There are various reasons. Okay, they, they, they might have the Why do you think people send they their children to, to get private advantage? School? And as for two parent families, I was the wife of a master at Radley College, a private school. Mm -hmm. Three quarters of the children were from one-parent families. What, so what divorce, you keep yeah, talking about- Yeah, so why wouldn't you want your, to give your, your kid yeah, a better no, start in no. life if they so, only have one the, parent? The idea home. that this is about two-parent families, it is entirely, and it was the I'm reason I- I'm making an argument okay, about the reason what gives I chose the best head start To give them life. an unfair advantage. Well, let's get back to the, the political nature of this debate and actually what Labour has said and what they're going to do. Interestingly, they seems to have you turned on a suggestion yeah. that they might take away the charitable status of private schools. They're not going to do that and instead they're going to tax all private schools. Why do you think Keir Starmer has made that decision? Because I think there is a really strong case in this country particularly, which compared to Germany, for example, or France, is totally stuck in a class structure. So I think uh, this, this is a politically a very good move on his part because he has been accused of not being left-wing enough and all of that. And it's also fair, use the money to really put it into the schools where the majority of our children go. The majority but of our children... But why not take away the charitable status of them as well? I don't understand his head. I've never understood Keir Starmer's head. I wonder that's, that's whether it's because... That's, that's, that's a bit of an inconsistent argument. Um, because if you're going to tax these schools, then you might as well take away their charitable status. No, I status. agree with that. Um, and uh, while I disagree... Listen, this is the ideological incoherence that that we are seeing with many parties, which is why I say you can't actually be ideologically fixed on these sorts of issues because we don't have that kind of leeway. We have to live in a practical world and we have to be pragmatic about our policies. Ultimately, um, I see this policy as an ideological, ideological one because if you were actually going to go all the way, you would just take away their charitable status as well. They're just saying it because so they, they, they it, believe that's it, an advantage, an, that's an unfair advantage you give people. And I'm saying there are actually bigger unfair advantages that people are born into as opposed to being able to- It is an interesting school. strategy yeah, anyway. Most I just of our want cabinet to yes. today went to private school. Yes. Okay, so using Esther's argument- yeah, this is a, using Esther's argument. Is that a bad thing though? Yes, it is. Why? Because the majority of our children are educated by the, in state education. This is the unfair advantage, the grip that the upper classes and upper middle classes have on the society. But and most as I said, our, I'm one of on, them. Most of our cabinet as well, most of our prime ministers have went, have came from Oxford and Cambridge yeah. too, too. So don't we need to start at the basis of trying to get into those universities? And actually those universities are trying to rectify that issue. So this is something that's going it's, to yeah. trickle through through generations, yeah. you would hope. Uh, I just want to go to calls quickly. Nigel from Warwickshire, what's your views on this? Do you think that this is a class war? Yeah, it's a class war. It's a terrible, awful en envy, envy culture and it's completely misplaced. Um, the point is, I had to use credit cards to put my child, my daughter, through a private education. Why did you put I, your child through private education, can I ask Nigel? Because um, my stepchildren, I had two, two stepchildren, have been bullied at the local school. Both of them have been bullied. And they weren't, they weren't uh, helpful to children. My, my wife worked as a teaching assistant at that uh, state school, and it was terrible. Mm -hmm. um, but she was very popular, my wife. But the thing is, my daughter, I wanted my daughter to have a decent education without being bullied. I could not have afforded it if I had to pay VAT. And that is proven by the fact I had to use credit cards on occasions. Can, well, I, can, I, can I just well, point out, Nigel, this is also an example of your choice as a parent to, to yeah. do what you think is in the best interest of your child. We don't often talk about this when we talk about private school and the you know, state school debate, but actually, people should have the right to, to, to choose where to send their kids. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's fundamental. But let right? them pay why, why, for it. 
Well, let pay for it. it. But the thing if is, you choose, why are you punishing? Why are you punishing? No, you pay them for it. it. You make a choice. You pay for it. You're Sorry, punishing Nigel. Them for Yasmin, it. from what you're saying, it sounds like you don't believe in private schools in general. So you would take no, away no, that no, choice no. from parents. No, 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 no. I don't completely. want to take away the choice. Okay, but I want, want to make it harder. I want to make it as expensive as it should be but, if they paid but proper tax. Doesn't that mean that we're only going to get oligarchs in these private schools rather than hardworking children of hardworking people like Nigel? I think we can give them if they really meant what they've been saying for 20 years now in private schools, that they'll open their doors, they'll give more scholarships. It's a lie. They, they, they let two or three kids in and then they shut the doors. So you don't, you don't, so like, how, do you don't like how they're run as opposed to, because at the, at the end of the day, you're saying you don't want to take away people's choices, but the power to tax is the power to destroy. That's why we don't tax religious institutions. So if you're going to tax schools in this way, you are effectively, you have the, the power to destroy them because no. you have the power to close their doors. So okay, money well, can use them. I'm going to go back. They have the choice. Mm. Judith from Yorkshire, what's your thoughts on this? Right, well, it's not just the fees that you've got to think about. When a private school spends money, they don't pay VAT, right? Mm -hmm. So, but, um, when a state school buys books or equipment, yeah. they pay VAT. Mm -hmm. So they're already disadvantaged. The private school that I live by has just paid £3 million for hockey pitches for the girls, which, mm -hmm. OK, that's what they needed. Not a penny was paid in VAT. I, I wonder, that Judith, be is right? that because this school has a charitable status? Yes, it does have charitable status, but how can it be right that... Well, the it, reason it, they're it, given it, Judith charitable status is because they do things for the community and children out with their school, so they, I wonder... They, they do as but little Judith, as possible. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that an argument to make sure that state schools don't pay VAT then, as opposed to yes, making I, public I, schools pay VAT? I like, would prefer that, yeah. It, make it an even playing field, take state schools out of VAT. Yeah, well, I think that's, that's the argument totally, you're making, as opposed to... It is totally unfair that a, chari that, that a school that has the money that the school here has um, doesn't pay VAT mm. when the state school down the road does. Uh, I, I, they're I, already disadvantaged. I hear your frustrations with that, Judith, and actually I'm going to put that to Yasmin. What if all state schools, instead of putting VAT on private schools, more VAT on private schools, to take the VAT away well, from the state schools? Well, the maths doesn't make... I mean, I totally agree with what Judith has said. The point is the patent unfairness. It is not true that these these schools do their bit for the community. It's simply not well, true. Well, they have to prove that they've done something, yeah. Yasmin. Whether I, you it's believe, minimal. Whether I, listen, you believe I was a Judith, governor at one of these okay, schools. But whether you believe it is enough or Judith believes it, enough, that is an opinion, but they do enough for the government to say that they can have charitable well, status. Can I just ask what metric you're using to measure whether you think they do enough or not? Because obviously not, not every sort of pub, private school is the, For example, the same. For example, where I was a governor, we had big playing fields. Mm -hmm. We never let any of the local schools use those. But that's your, so, your experience. So are you, using, are you judging it based off your no, no. anecdotal you experience? you can look it up. Everywhere, they do just the minimal and then they withdraw some of it. Do you have any numbers to back that up? There's lots of reports on this. There's but lots even, of reports. But, but, In fact, one of the biggest debates recently or, in fact, there was pressure put by, by a um, select committee on private schools. Mm -hmm. Show us what you've done. They're not doing what they say they're okay, going to do. The okay, is, I want to go back to the phone lines, Tim.